Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft Service, episode 104, and today we are back on the server, finally. Now, I'm gonna say something here that, that you have heard me say quite a large number of times, but it seems like 2017 for me was just, it was not the year for my immune system, because for the last week of 2017, I was totally written off by illness. Like, completely, completely written off by illness. I, I, I can't remember ever being that ill. I was, I was stuck in bed. I didn't move for around about, I think, seven or eight days. Uh, it was tough. It was really, really tough. And I'm still slightly struggling with it. But I, I've gotten better. I've finally gotten better. So we're starting 2018, hopefully on a clean slate. And hopefully I don't get ill again. Because otherwise I'm going to be genuinely concerned for my poor little body. It just seems to be being attacked by every single piece of bacteria around in the area. But anyway, plan number one for today's Emmetcraft episode is something that I'm very scared about. I want to remove the glass corners of the base. I want to do it. I just, I feel like we can do it. There's got to be a way that we can do this. But last time it didn't go so well. <laughs> so, well, I'm going to try my best to prepare accordingly. And things have not gone off to a good start. Oh my, there's guardians spawning in that. Of course there are guardians spawning in it. Okay, what on earth do I do here? So we have got water sources coming all the way out to there. Oh no, not this again. Do you know what's really stressful about this as well? Is that we have the same situation happening up here that we had going on down there. Every single block that I remove, it flows out. That is so typical, isn't it? The first thing I do after eight days away from the Hermitcraft server is just come on and instantly ruin my pace. I can't believe it. Now this is where things get scary, okay? Because, I mean, this layer should be fine, but it's that top layer. If this top layer goes, then I've wasted all my time. See, so here, here it comes. Oh my word, thank goodness. Thank goodness. And I am never, ever touching those glass things again. I'm sorry, but they're staying. Having just said that I'm never touching those glass things again, I went and touched them, didn't I? I? I couldn't help myself, I just wanted to see what it would look like with light blue stained glass, and I have to say, yeah, it looks considerably better. So, so much better. I'm really, really happy with it. So, I think what I'm going to do is do exactly that for all of the remaining three. Now, I am crossing my fingers about as hard as I can possibly cross them that we don't run into any hitches here. And that, my friends, is that. I have been wanting to do that for so many episodes. It must be probably around about 90 episodes. And it has improved the base tenfold. Hundredfold. It, I just, I think that little detail, it looks so much better. But you know what? Well, first off, this. This is also regular glass. How bold am I feeling? But also, we, we also have some glass going through the center of these, so I think I'm quickly going to fix these up. The base is looking so much clearer now. Look, now that we've removed all of the clear glass from the insides of those areas there and also just patched up all of the holes and things, it just looks so much better. I definitely feel like this needs to go to light blue glass. It just has to be done. This is, of course, going to use a whole bunch more stained glass, so I think, I think that should do us for the blue stuff. We have to pop over here every now and again, you know, just to pick it up, restock supplies, then we can fly back over to the base. But before we do anything like that, I think it's time for a quick AFK overnight session. I'm going to be standing up at the top of this area here, hopefully loading up, well, it's going to be loading up the iron farm. We're going to load up the mob farm, obviously, and all of the farms over in that section as well. So this should hopefully be super productive. Oh, the base looks so good right now. And we're back on the server. Now I'm going to quickly take a look at the drops in the next couple seconds, but before I do, I think this should just about do it. So there we go. The final few bits of glass have been placed in, and ah, oh, by the look of things, I think some water has run down inside the redstone circuitry of our light block swap. We'll have to sort that out over the next couple days. But for the time being, I just want to see what this looks like. I'm a little bit nervous. But you know what? That looks really good. That looks totally in keeping with the rest of the base. 
I feel like now it looks uniform. Now obviously on the inside of this thing we still have the glass and I'm not going to be taking that out just because, well, it, it would involve basically rebuilding the entire Guardian farm and that's not something that I really feel like doing. But this looks brilliant. Oh, that is such a massive improvement. Chuffed to bits, absolutely chuffed to bits. I've often wondered whether it'd be possible to fly down the stairs in my nether tunnel. I've always wanted to be able to do it, and finally I managed to pull it off just now. Flew right the way down them, and realized that actually this is, is quite, a long, it's quite a long way down. You pick up quite a lot of speed when using the Elytra, and yeah, I, I collided with the floor pretty hard. But anyway, for my next plan in today's Hermitcraft episode, I actually need to do some work with Mr. Iskal85. He's been telling me about my redstone being dodgy again. I think I think he might need a little bit more help. I have no clue where I am. <laughs> I found I just entered I just entered the top of like a big box. He's cut off my portal. I don't understand. Well, I don't oh, know. I, I mean I was going the old way to get into your place and now I've ended up in the Are side in of a nether tunnel, tunnel, I think. Is it orange? Yeah, yeah, it's very, I can see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the wall. I'm, oh, st no, I'm stuck dude. here. I, I don't know. I don't want to break anything. Well, I've broken my way in. So don't tell Red Dog about that. But I mean. Uh, I don't have, do you have silk touch? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll, I'll break this glass. Okay. Oh, and wow. then I've got a full inventory. So I'm going to have to gradually replace everything. Yeah. Right, there we go. I think, I think, oh no, I still have to, no, there's one more thing. Yeah, you have to get through there, and then I have to put this, this garbage back up. Okay. Okay. There we go. I w Good job, Ren, putting All a right. nether tunnel and not like, I so, don't know. So you don't have a nether tunnel? I don't have a nether, no. I, oh. Mine is apparently shut off, like it's, it's cleared out. So this, so Ren's just replaced <laughs> your nether tunnel. Yeah. And well, yeah, he's yeah. just, he's just built his own nether tunnel and just completely forgot about you. Completely forgotten about me. Are you eating bread, by the way? Uh, yeah. That's, that's, are you, are you out of items in the game now? No, it's just <laughs> I have loads of bread. So oh, I thought okay. that, you know, because I, I used to survive off of cooked fish. I don't actually know what's better. What's better, cooked fish or bread? Ah, uh, it's probably this, probably the same. Yeah, that's what salmon, I thought as well. Salmon is better though. Salmon is like me. Okay, so now here's the, we got a parkour here. Off this hole, onto that ledge. Down there. What? Into and then run to the portal. Are you joking yeah, me? Follow my lead. You can what? do that? No, I don't have any ender pearls. Oh. And okay. Uh, okay, this fly. is gonna be Oh okay, that that's good. Sometimes <laughs> I worry about my, my Elytra never tend to activate when I want them to activate and the number of times yeah, I just drop I mean, myself. Since they moved since they moved the server to Canada, I've had horrible ping. Oh really? I hadn't actually yeah. noticed that, but yeah, I, I imagine, yeah. Uh, no, I must show you something. So we had the Christmas holiday stream for, for Hermitcraft. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just before Christmas. And I didn't have a plan. You know, I came online and I didn't have any plan. Right. Um, and I was just going to hang out with my chat and see what they said. You know, last time I did that, last time I didn't have a plan for a stream, the, the creation of Mr. Bumble Cactone actually happened. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So this is good. That was on a stream. Yeah. So fly with me. Oh, I just saw a hat. I just saw some kind of hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What <laughs> is that? Is this another? Is this another Bumbo <laughs> this something or other? Wait, what's his name? Go on. Uh oh, crap! I I can't remember. I gotta check. His name is inside his belly. You've Look at his eyes. His How name. genius isn't that? Yeah, I've forgotten. I've been sick, bad. I've yeah, that's in. true. I've also been... Um, so I'll give you a free pass because I've also been sick. <laughs> this is Bumbo Olaf Frostoni. I love it. Yeah, this, so this guy's Frostoni. great. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This guy's fantastic. I, I, I was very happy with the... I didn't do the Christmas tree, though. That's someone... Oh, someone's giving me a gift. Hold on. Merry Christmas. Oh, get out of here. What is it? I, I know what it is. I, I knew it. I absolutely knew what that was going to be. Yeah. You're so easy yeah. to get things for. Just get, <laughs> just get diorite and you're guaranteed to be, be frustrated, perfect. which is brilliant. What's the, your opinion about the new uh, new textures, by the way, speaking about diorite? I haven't really, like, I haven't seen them too much. I saw, I quite, I mean, I'm one of I'll those people. I'll put them on that, my screen right now. I'm going to put them on my screen right now. All right. Oh, that won't help you. That yeah, that doesn't help, help me at all. Oh, they, they've kind of toned. I, the, what I saw from it is that they've toned down a lot of the textures, 
as in they're they less blurred them. Yeah, they're they're less yeah. punchy and which is good. Mm-hmm. It means that they're they're going to be easier to use. No, I really like the the jungle wood. The jungle look, wood looks pretty cool as well. I think in general, like the game is going to be easier for people who don't build a lot, but for people who have spent years, hello, on on designing and doing like textures with yeah. the, with the blocks that we have, it's actually not good because like the brick, for example, I'm looking at it now with the new textures. The brick is really good. But really, I, I, brick, how, yeah. how how do you have the do you have the texture pack on? I have the texture pack. Do you oh, want man, me to send I'm it to, to you? Look at that. You want me to cut the video and I'll send it to you. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'll I'll download it and I'll check it out because I use my silly texture pack anyway, so it will look really strange Oh yeah, you, me. you're faithful. Yeah. No, you see the brick texture used to be a texture where you had to like um I don't know how to explain it. You had to like design it with you had to mix in blocks and I taught you that. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to mix in blocks and stuff. Now you don't. Like, it's much more friendly to non-builders, I think. Right, okay. Well, I'm excited. I mean, that, that works for me. I'm not much of a builder myself, so that, that sounds good to me. Anyway, where am I having to go? What? Uh, oh, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong, actually. We're going this way. Yeah, this way. This way. Oh, my word. Do you this remember is... where this path leads? Uh, yes, I remember. I, it, it heads down to the Mobilisa, doesn't it? And it heads down through yes. here, and then you've got all of this, and it's... Oh, I've I've taken a wrong turn already. Oh yeah, you did. You did. It's down here. It's following yeah. the cobblestone line. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally. Where did you go? Oh, there you I, go. I've okay. snuck in behind you. <laughs> Sneaky. Um, no, I I wanted to start the new year with spending a few episodes on Mobilisa for me personally. Yeah. Because I'm I'm really excited. Like there's a lot of building that got to be done, but yep. um, I also wanted to see. Because, you know, you did the shop for this thing. You well, did the shop. I mean, when you say I did the shop, do you mean I I, I broke I broke the shop and did a terrible job at the Redstone and it was all awful? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Is that where we're it, heading? We're taking it, a look at my terrible Redstone contraption that I really wish I could I forget? Mean, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was a try, you know, it was a try. It was an attempt. It worked perfectly it in my testing world. I don't know why it didn't work at <laughs> all on the Hermitcraft server, but no, I will. I will also admit that it didn't work at all. Like it was horrible. It didn't work in the slightest. So <laughs> I might have to do some redesigning on that one. This place looks crazy this, though. There's so much. The what is Elven going on back there? I don't know. Like Ren dogs. Ren, do Ren has been busy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. This is. These houses look sick. It looks like crazy. It. It's like a. It's like an. I mean, I'm. I'm working on a town at the minute. Believe it or not, I've taken on some kind of small building project, and this is. Yeah. This is really good inspiration. I mean, these it houses. These, cool. these houses are amazing. What are they even? I don't even know, like but they Elvish. look cool. They look futuristic. It's like a pyramid, but it's not a pyramid. Yeah. Ren has reinvented man's best shape. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, he's done something. What a what, what a, a nutty nerd. guy. The yeah. redstone shop. I, I I mean, this is half broken as well since since your attempt. Yeah. One of the biggest flaws that you did, even if it didn't work or even if it would have worked, was that I gave you like you can only use this amount of space or whatever. Yeah. And then you used like this here, which yeah. wouldn't have worked because you needed two of these modules. Right, okay. Well, I mean, Next this is going to be... I can't even remember how the shop was meant to work. So run through no. how it was meant to work. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I don't remember, dude. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Basically, okay, so let me think. Yeah, so the, the, the currency was rotten flesh, right? Yeah. And to make it as simple as possible and, and not having to like do maths whilst you play this minigame... Basically, you want an input chest where you put all the rotten flesh that the team gathers. Yeah. And certain things will cost certain certain rotten flesh. So, for example, we needed uh, one thing to... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, lamps should be active only if there is enough rotten flesh in the system for that for that specific item. So, let's say this this uh, axe, for example. Yeah. The, the, the indicator would be down here or the button would be down here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then on the same column would be a button. And then on the same column would be a redstone lamp indicated with the netherrack. Right. If you have, say that the axe was 12, uh, would be 12 uh, 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 rotten, rotten flesh. flesh. You could press this button 
and it plops out a, uh, um, an axe from from a dropper underneath yep. the carpet or whatever, so that you can't grab it. I've got so many people sending me designs that I haven't even had time to look at them all, and I'm sure a lot of people have figured this out, but it doesn't sound too advanced. Like I that managed to make advanced. a prototype that worked. To to have to have like a shop where you it would see the I, I remember now because this here was basically designed so that it would stack up all of the rotten flesh that you put in, so it would it would mm -hmm. turn all of these on. I don't think it worked in the end on the server, and I don't really understand why. I might have just done something slightly wrong. But the thing is, is that was... to be able to store, it's difficult. It is a difficult one. Uh, it's something that is something that I'm going to have to try my best to. to the rotten flesh out. you can throw away. So, so when I then buy the iron axe, let's say that it has a threshold of because everything has to do with timing. Yeah. So we can come up with the prices as you come up with the redstone. Yeah. Like <clears throat> everything has to do with how long you lock the hopper here. Yeah, that makes sense. You, you understand what I mean? Yeah. Everything yeah. will have to do yeah. with how long you lock that. So if you lock that for two seconds and that equals 10 rotten flesh, well, then the axe is 10 rotten flesh. Yeah. We'll come up with the prices afterwards. And the rotten flesh that you use, you can just throw away or chuck away in like a massive, you know, yeah. chest area. Throw away thing. Yeah, yeah it, it yeah. makes sense. It makes sense. It's just the only, the only issue that I can think of is that if you unlock the hopper, for X amount of time, say two seconds or three seconds or whatever, and mm. then the person has this chest here and they run out of rotten flesh, it's going to be difficult to detect if how much rotten flesh has gone through. In if you get what I mean, does that make sense? Yeah, but you don't. You, yeah, you don't have to. Oh, so you you're talking about the lamps being the the indicators of? No, you don't have to measure measure that at all. Really, you measure like the first hopper, let's say. Yeah, and if the first hopper has enough, you, you just do a signal here. Let me. Show okay, you. I, I understand. I, I've worked out how to do it. I've worked out how to do it. We're all good. We're all good. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I think you so. Sure? My little brain just kicked little, in. We've been. I've little. been ill. We've we've both been yeah, ill. Just yeah. give me a free okay. pass. It's been ages since I've done any pass. complex redstone. He's, he's showing me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the the, the uh, sorry. I, I shouldn't show you this, but I mean, this is this is all there is. Item number one. Item two, item three, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. or price, price one, two, three. Okay, it will be fine. I'll work it out. Now I feel like I should mention that this totally wasn't the plan for today's Hermitcraft episode, but it's definitely something that I want to try my best to work on. So I'm actually going to set up a little mock-up version of Iskal's shop in this area in the Redstone Testing World, and we're going to see if we can pull this off. Which already I'm kind of struggling with. I've come up with an idea to do it, but I can't I can't work it out. So the idea is, is that the button activates the pulse extender and then the number of items inside these hoppers here will dictate the length of the pulse, which will dictate the price of the item because it will release more rotten flesh. Yeah. Tough. I think I've managed to suss out a way that we can stack these things together so that we have pulse extenders all next to one another. So if we hit this button over here, you can see that this extends across, this comparator now activates, and inside these hoppers I think we've got 16 items, which means that this would be a 32 item transaction because you double the amount that is in the hopper and that will give you the length of the pulse. Awesome! Okay, so now we need to take the output from that and we need to run it into some form of payment system. Now I have to say, I am really struggling with the payment section of this build. I just, I don't personally see how we're going to connect up the pulse extenders. Okay, let's run through this. The pulse extenders, we then need to connect them up into the bottom of the droppers. But we need to make sure that that only happens on the falling edge of all of the rotten flesh being taken. I think that works. Does that make sense in my head? Okay, I, I think I've sussed something out here. I think I've sussed something out. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this redstone torch. That will be connected into a redstone line that's somewhere around about here. So this is what's going to be unlocking our hopper down at the bottom. So that will unlock the hopper. That will allow all of the items to travel through. And then... 
Come on, there's got to be more than this. And then I've kind of added in some extra security systems in here that should hopefully detect if someone isn't actually paying anything. Right, let's see. So this does this. That's all powered. Now we have no items running through the system right now. So we shouldn't get any items being dispensed. And that is good. All right, promising. Now, if we were to place some items inside here, for example, maybe 32 redstone blocks, that should be the perfect amount. So if we do this, and we have items going through, it hasn't worked. And I'll be totally honest, I don't really know how to make it work. I mean, I don't, I don't get it at this point in time. Let's have a look. So if we, if we hit the button, we just put a bunch of the item in. So those items are now flowing through, but they're not being detected. They're not being detected by that. Okay, so we need to... We need to change which one is detecting it. That seems obvious enough. So let's detect that using this and let's move this sticky piston set up around. And now I think it's semi-functions-ish. So if we just take a look inside this chest here, so we're going to place in 64 items of wool. We're going to hit this button, that's our test button. And now we wait. So the items are dropping out the bottom of the chest and I seem to remember it should be 31 items should drop through. That does that, and that almost worked, except we didn't actually get the item. We didn't actually get the item, which is quite important. And now that actually functions. So we're actually getting the items now. Right, so to do this, as I say, it needs 31 items. So if I were to just place in 30, so let's just leave that behind and place this in. So just 30 items. That means that we're not, we're not paying enough for the item. Then let's see. So it's doing its thing, it's working it out. I'm not hopeful. But it worked! Holy mackerel, it actually worked! No way! Alright, let's try a much lower amount. Let's just go for 16. Okay, so we hit the button, and we wait, we wait, we wait. And then we should see that that will do its thing, yeah, so there's no way that they're going to be able to cheat the system. Okay, this is really promising. I think we might actually have created something here. So if we now go over the top, 37 items, and we hit this button, which is a button that requires 31 items for that item there to be dispensed. We wait, we wait, we wait, and then eventually we should see that the system will kick in. And there it was. And we've got six left, so it's only taken 31. And we have the item being paid out. I can't help but feel like that means it's working. Surely that means it's working. This thing actually works. It is now actually functioning. We've got all the different items in, in all of the droppers. And also I've got the different quantities up. And that has just used a perfect 39 items. And we got ourselves a piece of gold. So if we place in, let's place in eight items right there, and we'll click this seven item one. We should see that the system will kick in, it will all happen very fast, we'll get our item, and we'll also have one piece of rotten flesh left. That is brilliant. Okay, so now we have, well we've got 18 items, and I want this 19 item one. So we don't actually have enough rotten flesh to get the item out of that dropper, so let's just sit back and see if we can get a cheap ride. No, no we can't. It's eaten all of our rotten flesh, and we didn't get the item. Perfect! That works! It works, it works, it works! I can't believe it! And we've managed to make it within the space needed. Oh, this is such brilliant news. Oh, I've just realised that these redstone lamps aren't connected. How could I do that? I'll be honest, I'm not totally sure what Iskal wanted me to do with the redstone lamp, so for the time being, all I've done is just this. It lights up with whatever button you pressed, and that's how you know that the machine is working and it's doing its thing and the machine is working and it is doing its thing. I, I can't believe I've actually managed to make this thing function. Obviously, I will need to send this off to Iskal and ask him if this is what he actually wants before I build it on the Hermitcraft server again. But as I say, it seems to work, okay? So if it goes wrong on Hermitcraft again, then you know that I have built a working system in the redstone testing world. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please show us that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.
Oh my word, can you hear what my voice is? What is happening? I sound like an old rock star.